Lindsay here, The Frugal Crafter. Today I have a review of the Portable Painter paint palette. I took it on vacation with me and a lot of people asked me about it. So today I'm going to review it, show you what colors I put in mine, and kind of let you know if it's right for you. So uh, let's go to the table and I'll give you the review. Okay, let's get on to the review. Now, I have to um, tell you that I originally did a review on this using the colors that I took on vacation, but then um, I refilled this, my palette, with um, the colors that I intended to have it in there because I didn't have time to let it dry before I left on vacation. And then I thought, you know what? Why don't I do the review after I've used it set up the way I want to set it up? And that way it would just give you, I think, a better... Um, uh, understanding of the palette and also give me a better, you know, chance to use it some more before I give my review because I like to use something for a while before I uh, pass judgment on it. Uh, to be completely honest, they sent me these to review. I did not buy them. Um, that said though, I think it's a pretty darn neat thing. So this is how it's going to come to you. It is, um, it's pretty, pretty compact. It's about the size of like the Cotman Sketcher box, um, the palette on the inside. So what you're going to have is like this little capsule like this. Well, this looks like a, like a rubber band around it. It's kind of like a, um, uh, those rubber bracelets that people wear a lot of times you you know donate to charity and you get this rubber bracelet So that's kind of like what that is um, I'm not sure if those originally came with the portable painters uh, But the reason they're the size they are is because this clasp actually will fit on that so that you can store it So it will it will slide over it kind of like a charm and a charm bracelet But honestly, I just tuck it in there because I'm kind of lazy. This is not a magnetic material So if you think oh, I'm just gonna glue a magnet on there and stick that on there and not worry about losing it It won't stick to a magnet so once you have taken that clasp off, you can slide out the two water containers, okay? And then these water containers go around and they slide onto the ends of the palette, giving you an area for a uh, reservoir for clean water and dirty water. And I would say these hold maybe three to four ounces of water each. But if you have a dirty bucket and a clean bucket, you don't need that much water because you always clean your brush in the dirty water and it keeps it, your mixes nice and fresh. And I use that for all of these, uh, these paintings I'm gonna show you in a minute. So this can sit over your leg, over your knee, or on the ground. It's very stable. Somebody had commented they thought it would be very tippy. It really isn't. Um, when it's filled with water, it is much more stable on your leg. Uh, it's not stable on my knee, um, but if you had larger larger legs, your knee might hold it just fine. If you have uh, more skinny legs, you can put a rag, like a, a painting towel over your leg, and then put this on top just to hold it nice and snug. So it's great for sitting you know, in a chair by the campfire or in a kayak. It's just wonderful for that. So this is what, what you get uh, inside the palette. There is a brush that actually has two ends and you just kind of put them together like that and then you can flip from one end to the other end whenever you need um, to paint. The brushes are small though. Uh, you get about a number four and about a number two, I would say. And so for that reason, I bring a larger brush. The pans are adhered inside there, but if you, if you kind of pinch like that, stick your whole finger in there and pinch, you can pull it out and it's got like a glue dot on the bottom. So if you didn't want to deal with pans, you could put your paint right into the wells. I do like there are pan, pans so you can swap them out. I tested the, my, the watercolor sets I have, uh, the different brands of pans I have, and the only ones that fit in here that I had were my Windsor & Newton Professional and Cotman pans. They fit because they're a little smaller, a little tapered like that. And um, the Rembrandts fit pretty well. They did kind of, they, they were, they came out above a a little bit but you could still close it so it was fine um, and then the inexpensive ones that came in the Jerry Q art palette that I bought last summer I pretty much bought it for the palette and then I took the paint out and I and I uh, refilled the pans those fit so I had put my core watercolors into those empty pans last year since they were dried and ready to go I just popped them in there and used that this is very durable uh, because when I was walking down to the pond to paint during my vacation, my kids were playing frisbee and I had to dodge the frisbee because it was coming right at me and I had it open like this and I flew it, flung it up into the air. It hit the gravel. It um, pans came tumbling out because it weren't the they weren't the adhered one. They were the ones that I already had and uh, that sucker was fine. Nothing bad happened to it. It stood up to being thrown in the air and crashing on the ground. So uh, so that's good. It does feel like it's a nice thick plastic. Um, I noticed the paint did not beat up on it, which is surprising because usually brand new palettes, no matter what, they will, especially plastic palettes, the paint will bead, didn't bead up. So that's another good point for it. It seems to be made with really high quality materials. And um, 
and I'm really pleased with it to tell you the truth. Uh, the cost of this is $29.95 and I do have a 10% off coupon code in the video description. Just to be completely um, transparent, if you purchase using the 10% off coupon code, I will make a small commission on the sale. So just so you know that. Um, so this is the one new out of the box. Here's how I use mine. Um, so as you can see, I use the uh, rubber band to keep a few um, implements safe here. I've got a pen. I would also probably have a, have a white gel pen in here. Uh, I've got a, just a black permanent ink pen. I've got a pencil. I've got um, two brushes that I had cut down. I have a tutorial on how I made these travel brushes. Uh, I probably don't need both of them. I probably could just do with a big round one, but I had the, I didn't really have any other place to put these, so I'm like, I'm just going to stick them in there. And these are the colors that I ended up using, and I'll talk about those in just a second. S because when you're only, when you've got a palette of 12 colors, you want to make sure you have the most versatile colors, and that could be different for me or you, depending on what you like to paint. Uh, so, my this is what it looks like after it's been used for about a month. <laughs> And I'm going to put my little ends in here. And then I would just fill this up with my water bottle. Since it doesn't take a ton of water, you could just fill it up from your drinking water as you're going out for your day of painting. Um, and there you there you go. Well, I can, let me, I fill it up with this actually, my spray bottle. I'm just kind of show you what I mean about the paint not beading. So I would only fill this about two thirds of the way. I wouldn't fill it up to the top because as you're swishing your brush in there, you're gonna splash yourself, especially if you have it on your leg and you want if you want to stay reasonably dry. Um, I would, you know, do that. Let me just, uh, I can work on this. Um, so this is the brush that I brought, that I, you know, the uh, extra brush. Oh, that's not, my paint is not completely dry yet, but you can see it's not beating up, even with a lot of water on it, which I think is kind of, um, is kind of cool for a plastic palette. I don't know why I got this. I don't really need to paint anything out, <laughs> but, uh, oh, I could show you the, uh, the brush mark. You know what? I bet my brush is <laughs> under my table upstairs or something. It's not right in there. Well, I'll take the one out of this one then. Well, that's silly. what I do with my brush? <laughs> what a review, folks. This so, you know, <laughs> it may come with a brush, but it can't be responsible for you hanging on to it. So let's just take a look here. Um, the colors I used, I used a, the Split Primary Colors from Daniel Smith. I find that's a really versatile uh, set. So that is a fat brush, the fat end. And then let's do the skinny end. Um, and then I added an olive green. Um, I added burnt umber, uh, green gold, cobalt teal, and dioxazine violet, but you know, it was just whatever you want to put in there, whatever is useful for you. I would definitely stick with the the uh, six primaries, the split primary palette, but um, so that's what you get with the little travel brush there. And um, yeah, just for just for the sake of having a little bit of um, a little bit of more of a washy brush, I just put in a wider brush, but but that's what I have in my palette. Um, I really like it. I love the fact that I don't have to bring a water brush and I can have two buckets of water. But if you're perfectly happy with the travel set that you have and a water brush, then then you don't really need it. I mean, you could take two yogurt cups and nest it into each other and just put that in your bag with your palette. Uh, so whether it's worth the $30 to you is, you know, only you can decide that. I'll show you what I painted with it though. Um, and I had used a my uh, core watercolor palette, but it was a very similar selection of colors. So um, this was the first thing I did, just a little sketch out on the balcony, and I did a sketch of the painter, and this was sitting on a table, so I enjoyed using it that way. Um, and I do have some photos on my Instagram, but I think I'm probably going to be showing you all of these. This one I did sitting in a chair with it over my knee, some lichen on a branch. I could put that aside because that's going to my friend Audrey. Um, just this little uh, weed here, the wildflower. Um, I did this sketch of mountain laurel there, and let's see, oh, this tea berry. Oops, I got a spot of water on it though. Hopefully it didn't, it's not going to lift the paint. It might, who knows? Oh, no, it's fine. Okay, I did, um, oh, just that like art journal face. This is a portrait of my daughter, Lila. I painted that um, while she was coloring. And I think that might be pretty much it. I might have had a couple other things, but um, but I don't have them here right now, I guess. So there you have it. I really like it. Um, you know, 30 bucks for a plastic palette. I don't know. I bought palettes, cheap palettes, and I've taken the paint out of them because I've just wanted the palette. Um, and, uh, you know, a large studio palette 
runs about 20 to 30 bucks. So I mean, I guess it just depends on whether this convenience is worth it uh, for you, if it will add value to your life. Um, I think it adds value to my life because I love painting outdoors in the summer. We have such a short summer that if I, the more convenient and, and quick and easy I can make it to get out and paint, um, the better for me. Uh, but then again, I also didn't have to purchase it because it was sent to me for review. So I uh, just wanted to give you all the information that you might find useful for um, setting up a travel palette or perhaps looking into this tool as something that can um, add value to your artistic journey. If you have any questions on this, go ahead and leave a comment in the video description. No, you can't leave a comment there. Leave a comment in the comments box <laughs> down below and I will answer it to the best of my ability. I'll put a link to this palette and coupon code in the video description. The only thing I, the only, the only downside to this, the only thing I wish that they offered, but they don't, I wish they had, um, empty half pans because uh, they have half pans in there, which are great, but the, the cavities are not big enough to hold like the bulk half pans that I buy from Jackson's Art. So I can't just grab whatever half pans I have poured and throw them in there, or I can't just grab 12 colors from say my um, Sennelier set and throw them in there because they're not gonna fit. So I have to go either go with tube colors or I have to buy pans from Winsor Newton um, or Rembrandt or one of the few brands that will fit. And I might not necessarily know that when I go to purchase that. So uh, if they offered additional half pans then I could just use the tubes I already had and um, have a bunch of different ones ready to go. Cause if I'm gonna go, um, you know, paint at the pond in Maine, I'm gonna bring different colors. And if I was going to the Bahamas to paint um, more of a tropical landscape, I would use different colors if I was gonna to go to uh, into the city to do some urban sketching. So it would be nice to have that versatility. Um, but that's the only that's the only thing I would suggest is that they offer the half pans individually. Uh, and they might want to offer the brushes open stock if you're like me and you lose your brush. It'd actually be nice to, uh, you know what? You can buy travel brushes any size you want, so never mind. I was going to say it'd be cool if I could get a bigger travel brush, but uh, but I can. I could go buy that from, um, from another company, I guess. But it's always nice when you can one-stop shop or, you know, just because you know it's going to fit in the... Uh, in the little slot there because I don't know this one that I made that one's too long that's not going to fit there but I guess you could saw off a brush and uh and fit it in there too I like that there's two ends there's a lot of great things going for this palette you can decide for yourself I don't think I've left anything out um the only other thing I would caution to you is do not lose the clasp because without the clasp this becomes not very useful I mean okay if you don't have the clasp you can still slide the thing like that but there's nothing to hold it together. Um, so you just want to, you just want to make sure that you don't lose that. I guess you could put like a big rubber band around it or something, but that kind of takes the, uh, the awesome factor down. Uh, for that matter, I mean, you could just get a couple of containers and stick them around your palette, your small palette and, and do that. So, um, I like to paint out of doors. I think this is a really neat rig and, um, I'm happy to share it with you. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy product review videos and until next time, happy crafting.